So what's today's hot take? Well, today we are not going to talk about a dedicated handheld, but a tablet that's pretty badass. I am going to stretch a limb here. I would say that it plays Switch games better than actual Switch hardware and totally crushes every goddamn Android handheld out there with its mind-bending performance. We are about to explore the Lenovo Legion Y700 second generation. This tablet is a dream for gamers who crave seamless, vibrant gameplay on the go. The real magic lies in its 2.5K resolution with 144 Hz 8.8 inch screen, making every swipe and tap feel extraordinarily fluid and responsive. Powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, most games load quickly, run smoothly, and maintain consistent performance even during long gaming marathons. Surprisingly, the tablet manages to keep its cool, avoiding the overheating that often plagues intense gaming sessions. If this spikes your interest, you're in the right place. I am really furious as to why this handheld is not being covered by other emulation expert YouTube channels. This machine is giving so much value. So without any further ado, let's get to the video. Let's talk about gaming and emulation performance. The Legion Y700 isn't just about raw power, it's the whole package. It's got some cool features like different modes to optimize power use and performance, a handy screen recorder, and even a key mapper for games. So, how is the performance? Starting with Minecraft, the Y700 breezes through it. We're talking fancy graphics and a long draw distance, and it doesn't even break a sweat. The 144Hz display makes everything super smooth, although 120Hz would probably be the sweet spot for most Android games. Genshin Impact is next, and it's known for being demanding. But guess what? The Y700 handles it like a champ at high settings, maintaining 60fps with only occasional dips. Moving on to Call of Duty Mobile, the gameplay is seamless with high settings at 60fps. I've hooked up a Bluetooth controller, which makes it even better. There's hope for bumping up to 90 hertz in the future, but for now, 60 hertz does a fantastic job. For fans of retro games, the emulation performance is killer. Switch emulation on this hardware is truly a bliss. Like I said before, it plays Switch games better than Switch hardware with ease. We tested both the Switch Zelda games, the FPS never dropped below 29 FPS, Witcher was always above 27 FPS, and pretty much every Switch indie game was such a bliss to play on this giant, beautiful, vibrant screen. PSP games like Chains of Olympus run smoothly at high resolutions, and for GameCube and Wii games, the Dolphin emulator works wonders. No matter what you throw at it from the Wii and Wii U, this tab totally crushes it. PS2 emulation, no problem. Games like Gran Turismo 4 run smoothly at 2x resolution. I couldn't find a single PS2 game that we couldn't run on this machine. Everything worked like a charm. Now this is a tablet that has a PC mode too, which means that you can easily plug this into a monitor and play all these games on the big screen. Plus you can also get your work done with a mouse and keyboard setup. The streaming is super smooth too, be it Microsoft Cloud, PS5 streaming, or Steam Link. The experience was really decent and lag-free if your local connectivity is good enough. This tablet literally mops the floor with handhelds like Odin Pro and its latter versions when it comes to emulation and gaming. Get it together, together. It for you. What's under the hood of this tablet? Let's get under the hood. It's Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 processor and 12 GB RAM setup ensure it meets the performance expectations of gamers across different regions. The Legion Y700 doesn't compromise on audio-visual quality, which is a significant draw in markets worldwide. The high-resolution screen renders games and videos with clarity and vibrance, making it attractive for users who prioritize display quality. While it lacks a 3.5mm headphone jack, the tablet compensates with exceptional built-in speakers and support for USB-C audio accessories, catering well to the modern wireless focus trend in global markets. In today's connected world, a good camera setup is vital, and the Legion Y700 addresses this with its decent camera capabilities for a gaming tablet. This feature enhances its appeal for users who seek a versatile device for gaming, video calls, and occasional photography. 
The tablet's battery life is aligned with global user patterns, offering sufficient power for extended gaming sessions and multimedia usage. The option for expandable storage via microSD is a thoughtful addition, considering the varying availability and cost of cloud storage services across different regions. And yes, it also has a pretty good stylus, and it comes with the box. You crazy. I'm so crazy for you, all right. When is it releasing internationally? This tab is only available in the China at the moment. Lenovo has confirmed they are going to launch this tablet internationally. The reports confirm the launch of what appears to be a rebadged version of the Legion Y700 second generation as the Lenovo Legion Tab. The Android tablet space is very sussa to be honest. Seriously, either you have ridiculously high-priced Android tablets from Samsung that claim to be laptops, or sub-6 GB tablets that have been made without any heart. This is where the Y700 offers an alternative to the typical larger Android tablets, filling a niche for premium, compact gaming devices. However, as of now, Lenovo hasn't confirmed the global launch date officially, but according to the latest rumors, this product should arrive in the US by the end of April. This leaves us in a bit of a limbo, excited but cautiously optimistic. This product is already present in China, and one can buy it for the fantastic price of $300. However, we are pretty sure the international prices will be much higher. How much, we really don't know. Some are saying it's gonna go beyond 400 bucks. If that's the case, then we might be kinda sad, but let's see, fingers crossed. If nothing works, we can import this from China, but you will lose all the warranty and stuff though. There are many websites that can show you other generic spec sheet info about this tablet. Search it out. I mostly wanted to focus on the important elements of this tablet without wasting your time. And this brings us to the end of this episode. If you like what you saw here, drop a sub. I would really appreciate that. Have a good one and I will see you guys soon.